guys. Um, today I'm going to do some Bass Vampires, but I'm going to do two variations. <clears throat> the first one's just going to be the standard Bass Vampire with the uh, dumbbell eyes. Um, in this case I'm going to use the tung tungsten eyes. And the second one will be the fish skull, um, for those of you that uh, have been using fish skulls. So I'll just show you how they both work and how to put them together. Um, the beginning of them is you know, fairly standard for both, um, obviously up until you get to about the end of the hook and that's where the fish skull goes on or the eyes go on. Okay, so the first one I'll do is the dumbbell. Um, so obviously what we've got to do first is um, you know, put the eyes on. Let's quickly run through the materials. The hook I'm using is a TMCO 8089 uh, stinger hook they're called. Um, Mustard also makes sting hooks. Gamakatsu also makes sting hooks. Uh, the Tiemco ones are super sharp. Um, so for the body, it's um, your standard flash chenille, whichever sort you want to use. There's crystal flash chenille, there's sparkle flash chenille, saltwater chenille, cactus chenille, whatever. Any of the ones that are flash, whichever one tickles your fancy. Um, and you know, there's myriads of colours of those. Um, for the tail, I'm just going to use a little bit of Zonka strip. Then for the wing over the top, I'm using um, kinky fibre, slinky fibre, frizz fibre, whatever you want to call it. Um, that, that's pretty much it. So the eyes I'm using are just your standard dumbbell eyes. As I said, these are the tungsten ones. Um, just sinks that a little bit quicker. So when you're in deeper water. So the first step, tie in your eyes. Um, and you've seen me do this before, so put them on at an angle, then bring it back and do it around the other angle. Um, move them to where you roughly want them to be, and um, then to tighten them up, a few wraps underneath the eyes. And if you pull that tight, it'll, um, it'll tighten the eyes up. And then take your thread back to the back of the hook, and check to make sure your eyes are straight, which they are, and not going to move. Um, now, the thing with um, fishing some of the lakes, um, you see you're often fishing around timber and rock, rock walls, uh, drop-offs, weed beds, whatever. I always put a little bit of head cement on the eyes and that'll just hold them. Um, so if they bang off a tree or a rock or whatever, they're not going to come out bent. Okay, so the next step is to take a little bit of the Zonka strip and I just tie in a little tail of Zonka, so that's this bit right at the back of the hook, almost on the bend and you'll see that just gives a little tuft of uh, Zonka strip okay, and that just provides a little bit of movement in the water um, Zonka's very good for, for, um, for moving you could use Marabou, some people just put a little bit of crystal flash on the back um, you know, totally up to up to you as to how you want to dress your fly and that's the good thing about the vampires there's no hard and fast rule on colors uh, you know use whatever colors you want to use okay so the next step is to tie in the chenille um, now you'll see what I've done here is I've stripped all the flash off part of the chenille and that's how I will tie that in um, some people put the chenille all the way up the shank but this works just as well and actually I find if you tie it straight down onto the thread that is holding that chenille in place you actually get a fairly good tight, I mean I can't pull that out you can see the vise, I can lift the vise up and that ain't going to come out okay so again using the rotary function of the vise, just a couple of quick knots across the front bring the arm around and uh, simply then just wrap from the back of the shank to the front of the hook in whichever colour and type of chenille you want. Okay, now I just pull that across the front there so it's covering the eyes. I don't do the, un uh, sorry, the other way. I don't do the top of the hook um, and the reason for that is that's where you want to tie your materials in. If you wrap your chenille around the eyes, I sometimes find your material sits up at the wrong angle. Um, so just something to be aware of there. A couple of quick wraps around that. Switch it over and trim it 
off and make sure you don't cut your thread. I've done that thousands of times in the past. Okay, so then just a few more wraps just to make sure that that's um, being held down. Okay, so you can see there, if I zoom in a little bit on that, you can see, I'll get that out of the way, it's on top. So that's what you're going to see from the bottom. So you've got a fairly even body there. Okay, uh, so the next step then is to tie in the slinky fiber. Now some people also add a little bit of flash. I find there's enough flash in most of these flies just with the cactus chenille. Okay, so I'm going to tie in the slinky fiber um, tail. So I use a little bit of pink first. Okay, get it into the position you want. Make sure it's sitting straight on top of the hook. Um, pick up and trim off your excess. Okay, and get your next colour. So I nearly always with vampires will put I a light colour and then a dark colour over the top. It just looks a bit more like a um, you know a bait fish or, or you know even shrimps have a darker colour back. Okay, so there's your purple and pink wing. Again, cut off the excess. Neaten up the head a bit. Make sure you get good coverage there. And get a bit of a taper on the head like we've got there. Okay, and the whip finish. Give it a couple just to make sure, because again, we're throwing it into some pretty hairy situations potentially. Okay, a bit of head cement. Hold those fibers in place, and that's it. Basically, that is the um, bass vampire with the standard dumbbell eyes. If I just get that fiber and pull it back, you'll see what it looks like. So, there you go. So, that's pretty much your standard everyday bass vampire. Um, that's the pink version. Again, like I said, do it in whatever colours you like. I often do, um, you know, black and purple. So there's a black and purple one there that I've tied. Um, if I hold it at the front, you can see the little tuft of stuff there. Um, browns, tans, olives, you know, yellows. I've seen orange, whatever. Um, this colour is a pretty good colour for um, Lake St. Clair. A few of the guys have had a bit of success on the pink and purple, so that might be one to try. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is the fish skull. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'll just tie the fly to the point where the fish skull goes on, and then I'll show you just how to put the fish skull on versus doing it with the lead eyes. So um, it won't be one second. Okay, so we're at the point now where, um, you know, basically this would almost be a finished fly if it had dumbbell eyes at the front. So this is just the same, almost the same fly as I tied previous. And um, so the pink and the purple over the top. Now what I'm going to do is instead of using dumbbell eyes is I'm just going to put a fish skull on it. Um, so you can see there the, the little fish skull if I can get that to focus. Here we are. Um, so that's the smallest size fish skull. Um, so what we've got to do first is put a little bit of glue. Um, I use Tarzan's glue for this, just around the head of the fly. And that's not so much for the to stop the thread coming undone, but it's to set the fish skull in place so that it you know, doesn't come loose. Um, because you're not actually tying the fish skull onto the hook. Um, it slips over the eye of the hook. Um, but more or less just sits on top of the material. So you'll see I've tied almost to the front of the hook um, and then just left some room to slide the, the fish skull on. Um, so the idea is now the fish skulls, um, so let me just slide that on then I'll explain something to you about the fish skulls for those who haven't used them. So the fish skulls um, have a flat section and a, a curved section. Now the curved section is where the weight is in the fish skull. In other words, wherever you put the curved section is the way that fly is going to sink. All right. So if you want the fly to sink hook up like we're doing here, you put the curved section 
that way up on the hook so the hook point would be where the flat section is okay if you want the fly to, to sink that way so hook down you would turn that head around and have the curved section down towards the the um, point of the hook okay so that basically how the um, the fish skulls work okay so the next step so that's on there and as I said I've glued it in place so the next step is just to put some thread around the front between the hook eye and the fish skull and what that does is just stops the fish skull slipping back up over the eye of the hook all right so that's all you need to do is a, a you know, number of wraps around there just to build some thread up around the hook eye and that fish skull is not going to move so the next piece with the fish skull would be just to stick some 3d eyes on and the 3d eyes actually come in each packet so you can see the recess slot there for the 3d eyes um, just put a little bit of glue in put the 3d eye on the slot and um, let that dry i also then um, go over the thread at the front where the hook is and also the eye either with a little bit of epoxy or just with some ordinary everyday nail polish just to give it that little bit of extra protection um, but basically what you'll end up with is a you know a fly that um, you know looks a lot more like a bait fish because you've got that that fishy head on it so there's a finished one there um, so that's the purple pink and um, the dark fish skull with the eye so you can see the eye there um, you know, it makes it look very sort of fishy um, so that's it that's a vampire both ways fish skull and with dumbbell eyes um, so get tying some of those for those of you who haven't done those before um, like I said very, you can vary the materials you don't have to stick with what I've got you can use whatever you want in the tail whatever colour chenille you want there um, this one's actually bucktail um, so instead of slinky fibre I've used bucktail you can use polar fibre I've done them in polar fibre so that's um, that one there's the polar fibre tail um, you could use unique hair streamer hair um, you know any of those sorts of things some people um, even tie them with just rabbit zonka strip um, instead of bucktail or slinky fibre so you tie it the same way and just tie in a rabbit zonka strip and run the rabbit zonka strip up the hook um, so good luck take it easy hopefully you'll get a few fish um, with some of these and um, talk to you talk to you soon